So if you use paper records, whether they're charts or you have printouts of important genealogy documents, it's really important to kind of keep some notes and annotations on the worksheets, on the vital records, on the census returns that you have. So later on, either if you or somebody else is looking at the records, you'll know some kind of uh, information about why they're important. So in this case, we have a... Uh, my family tree, this is my great-great-grandfather, we identified where he was from by using the death certificate for his son. It actually contained, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Cumberland, England, the, um, the birthplace of father. Now, one thing that I do, because on this death certificate, this was actually not my direct ancestor, it was my great-grandmother's older brother. On the back of the sheet, I take some notes letting either myself or some other relative who inherits this in the future, why this piece of paper is so important. Um, so I write, wrote down John Wallace, older brother of Mary Jeanette, Wallace Heary, Heary is the married name. This death certificate identifies places where their parents were born, Cumberland, England, and Belfast, Ireland. This was like a brick wall for me because before we didn't know exactly where they were born because uh, we didn't have their birth certificates. And, we, and if I was looking at the the daughter's uh, death certificate, it didn't contain the places of birth for the mother and the father. So this particular document, her, my great-grandmother's older brother's death certificate did contain that information. So I made some annotations on the back. I used a, a, just a basic pencil to do it. And then I'll put it into my binder so I can uh, you know, keep, keep this document safe. By the way, this particular document, it did not come from Ancestry. It did not come from Family Search. I actually had to mail off to the uh, Lockport City Clerk, which is where they died, to get this information. But this is really an important document. This is something that I just don't want to file it away and forget about it. I want to be able to have some notes later on so either myself or uh, one of my relatives will be able to kind of carry on the research later on or if they need to just to identify, geez, where did Ian get that information where John Wallace was born or where Sarah, Sarah Jane McCartney, where she was born? And in that case, they'll have the paper record that shows this information and some simple notes on the back will kind of fill in some of the details that might be important. One other thing, after I'm done uh, maybe annotating a document like this, I always put it into a binder. These are special document sleeves. They're acid-free. It helps to preserve it. I used to use you know, manila envelopes and folders and things like that, but this is really the best way to uh, preserve important documents, and we have them on the Easy Genie website. It's called the Archival Storage Expansion Pack, if you're interested.